Hi, my name is Chris Van Dusen. I'm an author illustrator of children's picture books. Welcome to my home studio here in Camden, Maine. Let me show you around. This is where I come every day to do my illustrations and I'm going to show you all around. I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to show you some of the things I've done in the past, some of the books I've produced, and we'll even have a little demonstration on how I do the artwork. So welcome. So some of the books that I've done with Candlewick Press are things like The Circus Ship, which I wrote and illustrated. Randy Riley's really big hit. This is actually my wife's favorite book. Um, one of my favorites is uh, a book called Hattie and Hudson um, that was based in Maine. I'm also the illustrator of the Mercy Watson books written by Kate DiCamillo. This is one from the original series. She also wrote a picture book called A Piglet Named Mercy that I had fun illustrating. And my brand new book, which hasn't even come out yet, it comes out next week, um, so it'll be out by the time you see this. But it's called The Franklin Endicott and the Third Key. It's part of the Tales from Deku Drive series, also written by Katie Camillo. This is probably one of my favorites so far in the series. It's really, really great. <laughs> So the book I'm working on now for Candlewick Press is a book called Big Truck Little Island. It will come out next spring, 2022, probably late spring. Uh, I'm just about finished with the illustrations. I've got two more to do, um, so I'm really close, but I'm really excited about this book. It's based on a true story that took place on Vinyl Haven Island, which is an island right off the coast, mid-coast in Maine, kind of right off the coast from where I live here. And, uh, and it's kind of like the circus ship and it's based on a true story. And actually the circus ship was, uh, took place off of Vinyl Haven too. So uh, there are some similarities there, only it's a present day story. It's not a, it didn't take place in the 1800s, it's a present day story. But I really like this story because it, it just has so many layers to it. It's all about, you know, common sense and working together and cooperating and friendship and trust and all those things that are so important. And um, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, and you'll probably see it in bookstores, like I said, about a year from now in spring 2022. So the paint I use for all my illustrations, I don't use a computer for anything. I mean, a lot of people do and they do it successfully. I don't because I just don't know how to do it. Uh, so I use a paint called gouache. And this, it comes in tubes like this. Um, gouache is a water-based paint, and it's kind of like an opaque watercolor. You can use it a bunch of different ways. You can use it with very little water and make it thick and cover up things, or you can add a lot of water and turn it into almost like watercolor washes. Now you may have seen earlier that I have all these plastic plates in Ziploc bags on my flat files over here. And I use these as palettes for the for the paint. Um, these, these are all the colors I'm using for the book I'm working on now. And I've got them labeled. Um, and so I keep them in plastic plates. And when I need that color, I just pull it out, add a little water to it, since it's water-based. Um, and it just activates the paint. And that way I can keep the colors consistent throughout a book. Because I hate it when, a, when the colors change throughout a book. Like if a kid's shirt goes from like a purple to kind of a blue to kind of a more of a pink. That really can throw me off. And I think it can throw off little kids too when they're reading these books. So, um, so this way the color stays consistent throughout the book. So like I said before, I'm almost done with this book and I'm so excited to sort of be wrapping this up. Uh, I've just transferred a, a sketch to illustration board and I wanna show you how I do that. This is the last picture I have to do in the book and this is where the truck is coming to the island, coming up on through the, um, uh, the ferry terminal onto the island. And so what I did was I took this sketch 
and I blew it up on my copy machine to 140% of the sketch. And that size is, is larger than it'll appear in the book, but it, it's, it's easier for me to paint this size and they can reduce it down as long as it's proportional. So after the sketch is in place, <clears throat> I tape it to the top of the illustration board and then I rub pencil all over the back of the sketch. And the way I do that is so I can transfer it to the board. Now let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna take a scrap piece of illustration board and uh, let's just uh, let's just put it in like this. Let's say we're gonna we're gonna we want to transfer this guy onto uh, the illustration board below. I just take a ballpoint pen with a sharp point and I just go over and I just it pushes the pencil onto the illustration board. So that's how I transfer it to board. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the sky and the skies always kind of scare me because I can always mess up on a sky. It's kind of quick painting. Uh, but that's what we're going to do first, and since this is an outdoor scene, I usually start with the sky or the background first, and then paint to the foreground. So let's see how it goes. So this went pretty quickly, um, and I found that if you work very quickly with a sky and don't overwork it, it's better. If I paint over this and over this and over this, sometimes the nap of the uh, illustration board comes through and the texture kind of can be a little distracting. But you may have noticed, so here's the sketch, right? So I painted right over the truck and all the ferry terminal towers here and all this stuff. But that's because with gouache, I can paint over these lighter colors very easily. So I will just paint the truck over it with darker colors. And I'll, what, when this is dry, I'll flip this back, use that pen like we did before, trace that in there, and then start adding the details. You may have also notice that that's a really yellow sky, but that's because the story takes place early in the morning at the beginning of the book and the sky is almost completely yellow in the first few pictures. So here you can see I've just faded a little bit of the blue down. So it's just starting, the blue is just starting to appear in the sky, but it's mostly yellow at this point. So these are the sketches for the new book, Big Truck, Little Island. This again is the cover sketch. And I went through and I, uh, I did all these sketches and these were approved by Candlewick press. Uh, that will be the half title. This is the title page. And then you can see some of the pages, uh, some of the sketches are kind of taped together because I find one picture that I like better or reduce it and enlarge it. Um, this one's kind of fun. This is, uh, this is an aerial shot of the island with all the different houses. Um, and even the sketch took a long time. I'll show you the uh, final illustration next. This might be my favorite illustration in the book so far. It's really fun. A lot of detail. It took a lot of time. I almost wanted you to see, seem like you're actually flying over the island and zooming in on these little houses and churches and fields and, and up to the fairgrounds way up in the top corner of the island. I love spending time here in my studio making books for kids. Uh, it's it's just a great way to 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 make a living. My wife, <laughs> my wife says I color for a living, um, and I kind of feel like I do sometimes because it's a lot of fun. It's just uh, I love I, I love creating new worlds and new, taking people new places. In fact, one of the things I always try to do on my in my books is uh, I always try to take the reader someplace they've never been before and show them something they've never seen before. And so um, so I hope you get a chance to uh, read this book when it comes out and, uh, and read some of the other books that I've uh, published with Candlewick. 
And thanks again for coming to the studio today. It was really nice having you here. Thank you.